How's it going everybody? In today's video we're going to learn how to use Particle.js and create this nice looking particle effect where we have a skylight background with stars twinkling randomly. Let's get into it. So I went ahead and created a basic React app. If you don't know how to do that it's just npx create React app and the first thing that we're going to be doing is installing our package that we need that is for Particle.js for React and that's going to be npm install react-ts particles space react all right so now the package is installed and what we're going to be doing is creating a new file a new component which is going to host all of our code for our particle effect and so i went ahead and created this folder called components inside of my source folder and i'm going to create a new file and i'll call it particle background .js, and i will just copy all of this stuff I'll paste it inside of this file, I'll get rid of this import, and I'm going to convert this into ES6 syntax, so I'll do const, let's call it particle background is equal to curly brace arrow function, and we will go ahead and export that, and I'll just do a quick hello, just to make sure that everything is working, and inside of here, I'll go ahead and import it, so that'll just be particle background, all right, so testing it out, we can see that it is connected. And I'm gonna go back into my component and I'm gonna, right at the top of this, I'm going to import React Particles. So I'm gonna do import particles from react-ts particles. And now I'm gonna replace this hello with just particles with a self-closing brace. And if we go back into our app, we'll see that nothing is gonna happen, which makes sense. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and add all the properties that it needs to actually have that star, starry, beautiful background. So the first property that we're going to be giving it is called options. And inside of here is where we're going to be storing all of our properties or the options that we need to give it. And the first thing that I'm going to do is give it background and give it a color. We'll give it, let's say, hashtag 0E387A. And this is basically going to be the background color of the canvas. So you saw that. Uh, blue color in the preview Next thing outside of there. We are going to be given a comma and we're going to give it an FPS limit And we'll do 60 and this is basically the maximum number of frames per second Next thing is going to be interactivity interactivity And interactivity is the object that contains all the options for the interactions so I'll do detects on canvas and for events we want to make sure that when the page is being resized that it is actually making sure that the actual particles are also being resized we don't want to have like a bunch of particles in a small window and just a few in a huge window so i'll do resize and i'll do true all right so now the next property that we're going to be talking about is the actual particles themselves. So I'll just do particles. And the first property we're going to do is give a color. So color is just going to be the color of the actual particles or the little dots. And I'll give it value. Oops, value is equal to 9 F A F C A. And if you see here that there's no actual hash here, unlike this one right here, the particles actually doesn't require one. So it just needs the code itself without a hash. Next thing, right underneath the color, we will do number. And for number, this is going to contain a bunch of inner properties. So first one we're going to talk about is called density. So density. And we'll do enable to be true. And area 1080. Basically density is the density of the particles in the area of your canvas. And next one, we're going to do limit. We're going to make sure that we're not actually limiting the amount of particles that can be in the screen at one time. So if, let's say, uh, let me just show the next property first and I'll explain what I mean. So I'll give it a value of 400. So value is going to be the, va the number of particles in the actual screen. So if we did lim limit as, let's say, 1, then we'll only see one particle in the actual screen. But if we do 0, then there's no limit and it'll just go on up to 400 or however many we want. So if I put in like 10,000, it'll have 10,000 particles, but it would destroy 
your processing power. <laughs> All right, next thing is going to be called opacity. This is going to have an inner property called animation. And for that, I'll do enable to be true. Minimum, minimum value 0 0.05 speed one sync false and next thing we're going to do random to randomize it to randomize the opacity of the actual particles we're going to do enable to be true and minimum value 0 0.05 and the value of one Cool, so next thing we're gonna talk about is called shape. You can pretty much guess what shape is gonna be. Shape is just gonna be the actual shape of the individual particles. So we can do circle, we can do square, or we can do triangle. Those are the only shapes that I've found that work and they look pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use circle. Next thing we're gonna talk about is size. The size is basically gonna be the size of the actual particles. So if I want size, it'll have an inner property. It'll have random. So we want random size particles. Oops. We want random size particles. So I'll do enable true and minimum value 0 0.5 and value to be one. And so now if we test it out, we will see the beautiful stars that shine in the sky. Although not as beautiful as the sun, are not as clear as the moon, but they sparkle the dreamy light into the world, turning the earth into a strange world, inducing people to explore the starry sky. Cool, that concludes the tutorial. I hope that it helps you out. I hope that you guys learned something, and the link to the documentation is in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Make some cool projects with it. And also the link to that poem is also in the description below. I can't make poetry that beautiful. Not yet. Anyways. I hope that helps you out, and I will see you all in the next one.